patients. We'll speak about the effect that music can have on our health for stroke patients, for example. He is out to contact us. Send an email to ingoodshape at dw-world.de or you can send us a fax. The number is 49 for Germany, 30 for Berlin, and then 46466505. You can also send a letter to DWTV in good shape, Voltastrasse 6, 13355 Berlin. The keyword is music therapy, and the closing date is June 30th. Please join me in a tiny experiment. Take note of your posture right now. Are you sitting or standing upright with a straight spine but relaxed shoulders? Or are you slumped over, spine rounded? If so, please straighten your spine and take a deep breath. Scientists say you'll pretty much instantly feel more confident if you keep yourself upright. Plus, it will change the impression you make on other people. See for yourself. Which of these women do you find more attractive? To which one would you rather give a job? And which do you think is healthier? Although it's clearly the same woman on both sides, you probably chose the one with the better posture. Standing or sitting straight not only protects you against back pain, it also makes us look more attractive, fitter and more successful. It affects how we appear to others, and it has a direct effect on our state of mind. These trees are forever bent after years of bowing to the pressures of the wind. Some people seem to adopt a similar posture after bowing to the pressures of life. The Segeberg Clinic in northern Germany has long studied the relationship between posture and the mind. Specialists here say there is a clear link between someone's posture and how healthy they are. When people stand erect, it enlarges their chest volume and allows the lungs to take in more air. That puts more oxygen into the bloodstream and increases the supply to the organs. The brain also gets more oxygen and the person's state improves. Children naturally adopt a straight posture, but the older we get, the more we tend to slouch. And our posture is an important deciding factor on our state of mind. You immediately feel different when you sit up straight. Our emotions are very dependent on our posture. But there are also external influences. A person who stands straight seems more attractive to others and gets a better response. Sometimes the act of unconsciously standing or sitting incorrectly can even bring on a bad mood. Therefore, it's not surprising to discover that people with depression often slouch. That puts unhealthy pressure on the lower back. People who tend not to trust others often suffer from stiff necks. Katrin Hoff is a physiotherapist. She says it's easy to learn good posture. Stand with your feet about hip width apart. Don't overextend your knees. Instead, bend them slightly. Stretch your trunk by raising your collarbone. Raise your head as if it were being drawn upwards on a string and pull your shoulders back and let them relax. Few people know how to stand straight properly. They force their shoulders back or their pelvis forwards, keep it up for about 10 seconds and then slump back into their usual posture. But if you grasp the principles of good posture, you can often solve bodily aches and pain without having to call on professional help. Dr. Volker Kohlenbaum can often tell how a patient's feeling by observing their posture. 
Uh, a person who sits slumped over has often lost confidence and is showing signs of depression. Others might show a healthy and dynamic change as they move between various postures by which they signal their own flexibility and vitality. There are plenty of books that can inform people about improving their posture and teach them the relevant exercises. Good guides will provide clear step-by-step -step photos and explanations. Because the best way to succeed is to develop your own understanding of what your body needs. Of course, there is one posture-improving method that has been around for thousands of years, yoga. The ancient Indian discipline seeks to strengthen the body, relax tension, and prevent damage caused by bad posture. Central to yoga is stretching the spine and straightening the body. Tadasana, or mountain pose, is meant to promote confidence and happiness as well as improving posture. The headstand is a more advanced yoga position. It may only suit people without neck pain, but it certainly changes your outlook on life immediately. If you want to lose weight, get fit, and get squeaky clean, you should try aqua fitness. Because you work against the water resistance, you get a whole body workout which is easy on the joints. And if you do aqua fitness, you burn more calories quicker than you would on land. Aqua fitness can be much more than just gymnastics underwater. We'll show you how. And now for something completely different. Walking with Nordic walking poles, not in the woods or fields, but in a pool. Push your arms back hard with the right leg and stretch. This course is called Aqua Nordic Walking. It's different than Nordic walking on land. The poles are heavier and are used differently. Sometimes the ladies drag the sticks behind them. Other times they push off. Their coach explains why it's so good for you. You can really raise the pulse significantly. It's a super good cardiovascular workout. Yes, fat burning, endurance training, no matter what. And of course it's really easy on the joints. Because in addition to resistance, we also have buoyancy. Another way to get fit in the water is aqua cycling. A special mechanism ensures that by using different gears, resistance can be varied. The instructor sets the pace and driving with no hands isn't just allowed, but it's desirable. Push your hands forward, one after the other. In addition to the leg work that's going on, the upper body and arms should be kept moving as well. Training in water improves conditioning, tones the body, and strengthens the muscles. Also, cycling in the water burns far more calories than in the same activity on land. The parasites that we want to talk about now can fast for two years and climb more than 500 times their height to get to your blood. Ticks. They suck our blood and in return may transmit dangerous diseases like Lyme disease and tick-borne encephalitis. These illnesses are hard to spot and in some cases very difficult or impossible to treat. So the best protection is to know what to look out for when it comes to ticks. Danger lurks in high grass and bushes. Just a few millimeters in size, ticks are easy to overlook. While there are many different types, they're all after one thing, blood. Farmer Klaus Schapenack was used to getting bitten by ticks. But then in the fall of 2001, he suddenly felt ill. I suddenly got terrible pains in my shoulders. My right arm was so stiff I could barely use it. And the joints in my arms swelled. I broke out in sweats and had flu-like symptoms. Then I had eye problems. I couldn't see because everything had gone hazy. Massages and physiotherapy didn't help. Things only got worse. 
Blood tests eventually revealed that Klaus Schapenach had Lyme disease, also known as Lyme Borreliosis. Borrelia are bacteria which live in the guts of many ticks.